Hello, you are both learners. So, I came up with some with some new tutorials, maybe something new, uh, which will be released in 2019 versions of UiPath. So, my current version is 2019.8.0, and I'm in a beta channel. Going back to our project what new do we have we have form activities and we have form activity library so to get form activities and form activity library it will not be default available we need to go to packages and go to settings and in that you need to add a package source well i have already added it it's beta feed for me and add this particular url and this url will be available in the video description and let's go and see what can we do with forms so we have some excellent upgrades provided by uipath thanking them for the ease and availability of the shortcuts now if you want to add a new activity no need to search out there just press Control shift and t which will pop up the search and we have form activities available we have create forms and enter so this is our form designer later we shall go into the form designer but let's see what's there in the properties so here we have create form which is basically a name okay name of form next form title some title when we start the form which we need to see form title that should be there in string next form fields collection so these are normal in and out arguments that you can provide like when you are invoking a particular workflow if you want the data to be sent into the workflow then the direction will be in and if you want it as out then it will be out so basic thing nothing much but we can do a lot with this particular form fields collection along with that we have generate input fields so if we directly give input field here for example if i want some kind of input and if we give this as in or something which is in and out then the form field will automatically be created we'll see that later but for now let's make it empty and form hit width and height we can definitely specify it it's around by default it will be around 400 into 800 or less or more but we can define it here and is the form read only yes we can also set if the form like uh, let's say we create a user form where we just want to search the user but there is no need for us to or for someone who is sitting next to the bot should make any changes to it so it can be a read only form and form fields input data let's assume that we have input arguments but if we wish to not to give them directly over here then we can pass them as input over here but we cannot get output from here like out argument will not work here only in argument will work here and it should be in the form of a json hope everyone knows about json uh, with key value pair key value everything in double quotes value okay what is this <coughs> okay which should be a string again 
that's nice okay maybe i'll do it a bit later but for now let's go ahead with the others private if we want to make this values as private and you don't want this to be available in right line or in the console then we can hit it dismissed so let's assume that the form is opened and user didn't enter anything he just abruptly closed it so it's a boolean value it shows or it gives us the detail that there is no data entered or the form is abruptly closed form fields output data so here we are having an input data and here we are having an output data so here we can just directly give uh, a variable json out value which will automatically create a variable with string but basically it will be a json in the form of a string we can deserialize it to get the data and finally with selected button let's assume that there are multiple buttons like apply delete search and if user clicked on a particular button then we can see that or we can we should be able to know what is the button the user clicked okay so this is a basic tutorial and this is the first one and i'll be doing a series of tutorials to make you understand what is there inside the form designer what is the template what are add templates what are the basic components advanced layout and data each and everything will be a separate video so that everything will be modularized and we will be able to learn it much more easier see you in the next video happy learning bye bye